So you're interested in pipe shows? Well, let me tell you, you absolutely should be. Well, med friends, my name is Adam, and this is Get Piped, where we love to pipe. And today's piping is all about going to a pipe show. Over the course of the video, I'm going to explain exactly what a pipe show is, what you can expect at a pipe show, and essentially what makes a pipe show so fundamentally important to the pipe smoking community. However, before we get started, I will remind you all that I don't live here. This is a hotel. I'm staying in for the for a 30 day duration while I'm, while I'm getting after some training over at White Sands in New Mexico. I really enjoy New Mexico and uh, yeah, it's been pretty good, but I've had a lot of time to work on my videos, work on the podcast and yeah, the content's coming Yeah, it's pretty great. I will add that when I first got here, when I first walked into the room, the, the room hadn't been stayed in in a couple days at least. And I mean, it's summer in New Mexico and the AC wasn't on. So the room had to have been like 90 degrees or so. So that first day I put on the AC, set it to 60 degrees, and I've yet to turn it down since. It's been like 20 days. And now I'm really cold wearing a sweatshirt while it's 90 degrees out. Okay, so jumping in, what exactly is a pipe show? Well, it's a motherfucking show in a pipes. But seriously, think a trade show or a technology showing, maybe a handmade artisanal convention. That's essentially what a pipe show is. You'll walk in and there will be exhibitors, typically lads and lasses who've paid a fee to operate either a booth, a table, or, or some kind of space at the show. Essentially what they're doing is they're showing their products. Well, at a pipe show, the products will predominantly be pipes. Products will include new artisan pipes, new factory pipes, and tobacco blends. Others will include the great scope of accessories to include tampers, leather goods, shelving, housing for your pipes, and another one would be content, content awareness. Think the podcast guys, the YouTube guys. They'll, they might show their product, which is essentially them themselves. However, you need not some identification or classification akin to that of a business owner. While the pipe factories, the online retail store, some of the brick and mortar stores, artisans and side gig handmade accessory guys will be there. You will also find regular ass dudes. And truthfully, I mean regular, not as to strike in a negative way. Because here in the pipe community, we are all members of the pipe smoking sphere. So yes, you too can have a table at one of these shows. Maybe you have a great collection of 45 pipes, but you know you don't get to all of them in your rotation. Secure your table, come on down to the show, throw 30 of them on that table, and see what you can get out of them. Yes, the estates are just as common as all the new products. Now what a pipe show is not, it's not a comic con. While yes, I absolutely do and will continue to fangirl over seeing John David Cole at a pipe show, it's not a comic con. John David isn't gonna set up a booth just to stand there and wave and shake hands all day. And that's not because he won't. It's because he's probably already coming up to you to shake your hand anyway. Just for being a pipe smoker. He's a great guy. So yeah, at a pipe show, you will see some of those pipe smoking legends. From family members, from some of the greatest and most renowned carvers in pipe smoking history, to the content creation guys, the master tobacconists, and factory owners. But as I mentioned a moment ago, we're all in the same sphere. We are all brothers and sisters of the briar. No one's higher than the other. We're all just... We're all just pipe smokers, man. So understanding that, a pipe show is an amazing opportunity to go out there and meet some of these legends. They're very approachable. They want to talk with you. They want to talk with other pipe smokers. That's why they're there. They love the sphere so, so much. You can also meet with some of your best friends. You know, the ones that you've been engaging with for years across Facebook, YouTube, my galactic get pipe pipe club found only through Discord. You really get to embrace the pipe smoking community at its fullest, at its strongest all while perusing an endless sea of smoking pipes. It's simply surreal. But my friends, there's more. 
Oh, it goes so much deeper. Each night of a pipe show will likely be capped off with some kind of smoker's retreat. Maybe it's a smoker's tent, maybe it's a great hall within a hotel. Perhaps a meeting at a local smoking lounge, or just the coordination between several folks within one of the rooms. Either way, there will be some form of a get-together, an opportunity where everyone gets to share a pipe, share a drink, and share a conversation. This too, despite being technically outside of the, the showing of the pipes, is one of the most powerful aspects of a pipe show. To be able to walk into a room full of ladies and gentlemen just smoking their pipes, looking absolutely lost, find an open seat, have someone look at you, realizing that you don't know what the heck you're looking at or looking for, and inviting you over to have a seat with them. That's the magic of a pipe show. It's really one of the most heartwarming experiences, one that I've not realized until I went to the Chicago Pipe Show back in 2022. Now, additionally, some of the bigger shows might feature an award ceremony, host a dinner, or maybe some other form of a cocktail party. It's a really, really neat and deep event. Truly, it is so much more than just buying a wooden pipe off of a branded tablecloth. A pipe show is a community-focused event. Okay, so we talked about what a show is and how it's so badass, but what about why you should attend? Outside of extrapolating everything I had just mentioned, I want to focus this piece of the conversation on community, the pipe smoking community, because it's this community that serves as the direct link, the direct correlation to the survival of this wonderful art of pipe smoking. All too often is the downfall of pipe smoking discussed. We get it. It's not as prominent as it used to be in the days of old, but I promise you this. Anyone who proclaims that this practice is thrust upon a dying path has never been to a pipe show. Some shows will be large, some shows will be small. But I'll tell you one thing, the very emotional string within you will be pulled all the same. I really wish I was your proper wordsmith here and so that I could express to you that, that, that feeling of how whole, how whole I felt when stepping into my first show, the Chicago Pipe Show. I do hope my videography skills from my Chicago video helped convey that feeling, that experience, the emotion, the passion, the remarkable feeling of stepping into that show day one. It's like there's this unseen floating energy of glee that simply falls upon everyone within the room, like a woolen blanket thrown over the shoulders on a chilled night. That right there, that is the pipe smoking community. That is the effect of a pipe smoking show. That community, which you are a part of just by virtue of watching this video this far, yes, that includes you too, mom, is the surviving guard that will continue to reinforce the once cracked bricks of this, this castle of a, a pipe smoking art. Now, I've only been to one, but I can tell you that each and every show will be an enchanting experience in its own way. There will be pipes for thousands of dollars. There will be pipes for several dollars. He who buys either will not be judged upon worth nor merit within this community. All pipers are pipers. If you put tobacco in a pipe, be it corn, be it briar, hardwood, morta, clay, meerschaum, you are a pipe smoker. And I'd love to see you at the next pipe show. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for allowing me to share something that I'm, I'm so passionate about. I really do think we have something extraordinarily special here. Please drop a subscription on the channel and share with any of your pals that are interested in going to a pipe show or for those who have been, what did you think? Share your experiences in the comments below. You can also connect with me further, sharing your thoughts by reaching out to me on Instagram, which is at get underscore piped. Now, if you don't think your attendance to a pipe show is feasible, be it your work schedule, distance, travel, location, life, kids, whatever it may be, you can always join the Galactic Get Piped Pipe Club, an online pipe club of which I am your humble president, where we can all connect virtually. We host live video pipe meetings every two weeks and sometimes in between. Click the free Discord link below in the description in order to join the Galactic Get Pipe Pipe Club. Admission is free, no dues, no subscriptions, just pipes. Finally, of course, be sure to follow the Get Pipe Podcast for your weekly, every Thursday, pipe smoking content. From me, Get Piped. And my producer guy. The Get Pipe Producer Guy. One last thanks to the folks here who make it all the way to the very last second. You guys are amazing. With that said, you have all just been piped. And until the next piping, I'm out. I'm, I am out. I'm out of this video. Okay, I'm dizzy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for allowing me to share. Uh.
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for allowing me to share